there's a confusing principle in physics uh, at the quantum level that says that once you observe something happening at the quantum level, the act of observing changes the phenomena, changes what you're looking at just by being there. It's a kind of a confusing concept that I don't understand. But applying it to what I'm doing now with my videos, I'm wondering if it might have a little, that kind of thinking might have a little bit of an impact. I'm shooting videos of my Thai family and I'm wondering if the act of my being here, the foreigner amongst them might change what it is that we're, uh, that we're seeing. Certainly, it's nice to be amongst them. And uh, while I was in the States, a bunch of them showed up at the house here from the country. My boa cow here has, you have uh, how many uh, siblings? You have uh, five sisters, yes. uh, two brothers? Yes. So seven. Yes. Seven, seven siblings all over the country. And uh, most of them are farmers and they're doing okay with the slowdown that's kind of happened over the last few years. You know, it's reversed. It used to be the people in the city had uh, more resources than the country, and that's kind of reversed. But nonetheless, we do have uh, uh, country girls coming down here to stay when I was in the city. And I told them to remain here after I got here. I kind of like them hanging around. You know, this particular video is going to be focused on this country girl over here. I'm focusing on uh, Shampoo. She's uh, a country girl who's been down here living with us for a while. And everybody has a story. Today's outing is a trip to a big fancy mall to get Miss Kelly an iPhone. Masked up and ready to go, just waiting for the grab cab. We do everything in a, uh, in a king size fashion here. It is after all a monarchy. Yeah. Thank you. They made this big giant mall and opened up just before everything closed down. I guess we could go see how they're doing. We're here to get an iPhone. Yes, the old Steve Jobs' garage has uh, come a long way here in Bangkok. and made an appointment for us to come back in 15 minutes. So what on earth am I going to do with five women in a shopping mall? I'm gonna figure something out. I see a trend toward fashion happening here in Southeast Asia. Fashion and glamour. I hope it becomes a global trend. I hope it's not just a figment of my imagination or wishful thinking. I like dressing up. A few months ago, Champu's mother, Boa Kao's older sister, conspired with Boa Kao to send Shampoo down here to Bangkok to stay with Boa Kao while I was in New York. And when I arrived back in Bangkok, I invited her to stay. You see, they wanted to get her away from uh, a young man she was dating up there that nobody seemed to like very much. She's 19, alas, but she grew up in the country. She very, was very much a country girl. Well, she came down here in the big old city where we're having lunch right now. And the first thing that happened is her hair turned pink. And she's adapting rapidly to uh, city life. But she is a hot a country girl. We're going to be going up there uh, to the country uh, in a couple of weeks to visit there. Hello, ladies. I figured the only way to get them to take their mask off is to take them to a nice restaurant.
Well, I suspect that there are dozens of uh, cultural distinctions that the Thais see amongst themselves that I'm not particularly aware of. The two big cultural distinctions that I do see are that between the city and the farming regions. Boo Cow's children have grown up in Bangkok. These two and their older brother, who doesn't really like being on YouTube, grew up in Bangkok. Boo was 18 when she arrived here, along with the sister, Nong Pa. It was a young woman when she came to Bangkok. So they've had the benefit of both of both distinctions, and now Chum Poo is making the transformation between the city and country. In two weeks, we're going to take a trip up to Loi Province, where uh, Boo Cow's family farm uh, is, and uh, they're doing okay up there. It's funny because, you know, the, the city people are wealthier in general than the country folks here, but there's been a bit of a shift in that. I mean, the people at the top end, there's a lot of wealth here in Bangkok and in Thailand, but, you know, the more working class and the people relying especially on the tourist business, which went away about a year and a half ago, uh, had a negative impact on, on, the, uh, uh, on the earning power of people here in Bangkok. Well, the people up north actually improved. Boo invested in a plot of property up there and assisted put corn on it, something that they've never grown before. And apparently, they're having a very profitable harvest. Uh, it's feed corn. And they did very well with it. So, a little bit of a shift there in terms of country versus city. I don't know. The pink hair makes her a city girl. This grab van uh, is not a bad way to travel. Oh, look at that. Another light show. <laughs>